Well, hello everyone. Today we are going to go over everything that I have in my inventory so far for my first market that comes up in November. And I know I have just under two months left, but I have been spending all my time testing out all kinds of different patterns. And when I see what I actually have here, I am amazed at how much money <laughs> I have spent on patterns. So what I've done is, this is my second filming because the first one would not transfer to my computer for whatever reason. So I've gone through everything, I've made a list, I know what I have, and I need your help in helping me decide which patterns I should make multiples of, especially if you have experience in doing these markets. Like, which ones do I have that I should have like a dozen of, or two or three of, or just take the one that I have. But in my last video update, I was telling you that I was working on a project when I was binge watching um, Virgin River, but I couldn't share it yet because I was waiting on some supplies to come in to complete it. So what I did is I needed some felties to glue on to these, these items. And as much as I would rather order from other makers, uh, I just couldn't bring myself to spend six plus dollars for four little felties and then add shipping on top of that as an experiment to see if these items would sell or not. So I went on Timu and placed an order. But let me tell you something about Timu. If you have never ordered from them, you will be slammed with at least a minimum of five emails a day, every day. Unbelievable the amount of marketing emails that they send out. So right there, that is a big turnoff for me. But I ordered a package of 70 uh, little felties and they call them iron-on patches, but they're the same thing. Um, so it was like 70 of them for under $10, $9 and some change. But they came with things like this turtle and cherries and this little bear. I've got a whole dish of them here. Now, some of them are uh, too big for what I needed. But with 70 to choose from, I think I did okay. So my project was making some cup cozies. So I have 20 of them that I was able to make in the time frame of binge watching the new episode of, new season of Virgin River. So I have this one with a rainbow and I have this one with cherries on it and this one with a rose and you can see the stitch pattern a little better on the back side. I have this one with a B and this one with an elephant and a cupcake, a butterfly, a crab. He's kind of cute. He's got a nice facial expression on him. A lollipop. Um, one that is supposed to look like the world. <laughs> this one, um, a love snap. I don't know what you would call it. A red flower. Another planet, like maybe Saturn or something. A dolphin. Kind of looks like Miami Dolphins. And a cute little lion. A flower. 
a cheeseburger, a dinosaur, a sun, a strawberry, and last but not least, a sunflower. Now, obviously, if you buy them from, like, say, off of Etsy from the different makers, you can pick and choose the ones that you want. But like I said, I just couldn't see spending that much money on four. I mean, you figure I made 20 of these, so I would have I had to spend over $50 on Felties to get a variety. And not knowing if these will sell or not, I just didn't want to spend that kind of money. So I went the cheap route and ordered off of Timu. So that was the project that I couldn't share until they were finished and they are now finished. So I did play with a couple of things. Well, yeah, a couple of things. Um, I turned the gnomes that I showed you last time into use the acrylic yarn and turn them into keychains. I got out my vegetable book and made an eggplant. And when I get to the keychains, I'll show you these. And then I purchased one pattern, um, one from Wonder Crochet. She has this turtle that just sits there and hers looks so cute. <laughs> Mine didn't turn out so cute. Um, maybe it's because I didn't do her colors, I don't know. But I did, I added a hat to it because I just felt like his head was huge and ginormous and needed something. Um, for the most part, it's a simple pattern to follow. I think my issue is the eyes. Like, I think they need to be set further apart. Hers didn't have a mouth on it. I did have eyebrows, but I took them off because it made this turtle look super sad like emotionally sad, not like weird looking sad, but I don't think I have my face right. And I tried it again using acrylic yarn as to not waste my plushy yarn if I wasn't happy. And it didn't turn out very good either. And I, I really honestly think that it is the spacing of the eyes Maybe it's the type of eyes. Uh, I don't know. I just not thrilled with these at all. But I thought I'd show them to you because somebody might know what my issue is with why I think it just looks weird. And I know I know it's the eyes. I'm just not sure what it is about the eyes that makes it that way. So those were, well, no, two other little things. Um, a little worry worm with some googly eyes. I was testing that. That's uh, like quick, might be an inexpensive make. I don't know. I think maybe my little bows are too big. I don't know. And then I tr was trying to do a chill pill and the person that I got the template for the little um, cups to slide the co cozies on, also has, she has a bunch of different templates. Like if you want gloves, she's got hands. If you're doing a headband, she's got these little head things. It's really cool. I can't think of her name right off the top of my head, but I will link her Etsy shop down below. But she had a one for a little card where you can attach to your chill pill that's got this little saying on it. But she also gave you a pattern for a little mini chill pill. So I tried it and it didn't turn out right. Now, depending on which side you look at, that side looks fine. Like I think the blue side turned out better than the pink side, but I think the pink side has too many rows because it's like bigger than the blue. And it could be the row count or it could be that the pink yarn is just, the pink yarn is just that much thicker than the blue yarn. Could be the way I stuffed it. I don't know. 
but I'm going to try this again, and I'm going to try leaving out a row uh, on the pink side and see if that makes it look more correct to me. And it very well could be in the stuffing, too, because the, I don't know if you guys have noticed the difference, but Hobby Lobby stuffing is way different than the polyfill that you can buy at Walmart. I have a hard time even getting my needle when I'm sewing things on to go through that polyfill. It's, it's way different, and this is using that polyfill. So it could very well be the polyfill. So that is the new stuff. Now let's, let's take a quick look. I don't know how quick it'll be, but let's take a quick look at what I have in inventory. Okay, to start off with, I have two Cardinals, one Blue Jay, one Robin, one Seagull, one Mallard, and one, I can't remember the name of it, um, yellow European I can't think of the name of it, but all those are following the Seth the Seagull pattern and then using her modifications and then for the Blue Jay and the Cardinal, my own modification. Then we have one crazy haired mermaid made out of the Parfait Chunky and one mermaid made out of acrylic yarn. We have four of the mini gnomes that I showed you, whoops, that I showed you last week. So four gnomes, my pelican with his fish, one large possum, one whale with a spout, one large easy cat using Bernat Baby Sparkle, three, three small cats, easy cats using uh, Parfait Chunky, three small penguins. Now, of course, this is where this part should have been white, but I didn't have white at the time, so I just did them out of the lighter shade of my main color. And then one large pango, ugh, one large pocket penguin using the Bernat Baby Sparkle and regular Bernat Black and White. Two hedgehogs, which are my pattern. Those are the small hedgehogs. Um, I have one large hedgehog somewhere in here. One. Tilly Toadstool that I made look like she had a strawberry top and one Jelly Pop. One completed package of snowballs. And here's the large possum made with Bernat. It is much bigger than The parfait chunky. Just uses a lot more stuffing. So then we have one um, swim shady dolphin, two crayons, a chubby cow made out of Bernat velvet, one snake, made out of Bernat Baby. Oops, he's upside down. There we go. And we have an Adventure Time Bemo. We have one chicken nugget, four of these little frogs. And of course, this one I was playing around with how I like the eyes and each one is just a little bit different from the other. 
we have one little mini dog. We have nine maple chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The one that I made look like a rooster. So nine Maybell chickens, one caterpillar, three completed avocados. When I say completed, I mean I have my little uh, cutesy quote patches attached to them. So there are three of these, which is my pattern available in my Etsy shop. Um, one, what I would call a big B. And then three little mini pocket bees, two with white wings and one with blue. One Among Us figure made out of the Parfait Chunky. He's got his little plant leaf on the top of his head. Okay, four um, mushy pops, little mushroom pops, the little heads, the mushroom tops pop up. I have two in red, one in a golden brown mustard type color, and one out of Bernat in black and white. Then we have a few um, flower pops, which are a modified version of this mushroom pop with the little booty, but I did not give these a booty. So I did three flower pops. Really, I did more, but using a different pattern. So three this size, one hamburger, one what I would call a large gummy when you compare it to these other gummies. This is a terracotta color out of Bernat Blanket. One Garden Sprite. One um, Pocket Penguin. Two frogs. Same pattern, just made a little different like different eyes, belly patch, no belly patch. So two frocks, one small turtle. This was all from Jade's pattern, but I just kind of made it look kind of like a strawberry turtle using Bernat velvet. So then it turned out very small. Five medium sized turtles. So we have green with a pink shell one that looks like a sunflower, one that looks like a blueberry, uh, one that, again, kind of looks like a sunflower, but this one is using a different pattern, and one that is supposed to look like a mushroom. So that was five medium-sized turtles. And then I have one large kind of daisy, or it's not large, but it's larger than the others because this is not the Bernat. This is the um, Premier Chenille Brights, I think. So there's that one. He's just a little bit bigger than the others. I have one fish, one snail, one chibi ninja, ninja turtle, one stingray, one pocket cow. He's kind of small. I think maybe trying this pattern again using um, Bernat Blanket. 
and see how much bigger it'll turn out. Usually it's quite a bit of a size difference. One ladybug. One large mushroom. I think um, Shield Maiden is the pattern designer on this one. And she calls it a candy mushroom. It's got the ruffle around the edge. So one of those. One Mushroom Boy. <clears throat> One Owl, which this pattern, I believe, was also from Shield Maiden. And I have been told that this kind of looks like the Owl from Harry Potter. One Pink Jigglypuff. One Small Brontosaurus, which I know it's not a Brontosaurus, but it's a Brontosaurus. Um, this was made out of some sparkly velvet yarn that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And this is the exact same pattern made out of Bernat blanket. So I have a small Bronto and a large Brontosaurus. One Space Invader, which I would like to do some more of these. These are kind of fun. I got in some more gray. It's the color of the alien head that I will have to be concerned with. One Squid. This pattern, I believe, was from uh, Mom Stitchetti. If I remember correctly, I would have to go back and look. These are all shops on Etsy is where I have gotten every paid pattern from. So this one is uh, made out of Bernat. And if I did it out of Parfait, it would be considerably smaller. So I think I'll do a few more out of the Bernat blanket yarn. I have one Kraken which this came out of my um, creepy creatures and cryptids, cryptoids, something like that book. Um, and it is made out of a Bernat blanket. I like this pattern because it has that nice shape to the head. Makes it, you know, it has a little bit more of a realistic look. I'm not necessarily a fan of this color. I'm not a super um, variegated yarn uh, fan, but I thought it would be okay doing on like an underwater creature because of the coloring. I have one land turtle. It's been so long since I've made this one. I do not remember where I got the pattern. I'm pretty sure it was a free one, but I couldn't tell you where. And he's blue and gray. <laughs> I have another of Shield Maiden's patterns, a bread and butter, leggy piece of toast, I guess. And this is an easy one to do, so I'm not sure. You know, this being my first market, I don't know what to take and what not to take. So that's why I'm asking for help. Which one should I make multiples of? So one bread and butter. I have, now this pattern came from Teresa's Crochet Shop off of Etsy, two manatees. Now they have different types of eyes because one I was doing for the sister-in-law and it was too big. She wanted a smaller one for the little grandbaby to, um, able to carry in his hand. So this one has little felt eyes and this one has the safety eyes. So two manatees. Two what I would call large compared to my others. Octos. These are the oh I think crochet by Jenna's pattern. So I have two of those. I think I actually like it better with the bigger eyes placed lower, like on this one versus this one. I have two medium size. This is Parfait Chunky. Again, I use two different eyes. I like this one better than these small eyes. So I have two of those. 
one, I have one seahorse. This was a pattern here on YouTube. Um, I just kind of watched and wrote it down and did what I could, and this is how it came out. <laughs> so one seahorse, a Barbie colored duck. This pattern came off of YouTube here. One small possum. This is a free pattern that everybody seems to be using from Instagram. He is very small compared to the other possum that I made. So one of those, I have two different axolotl patterns. So this one would be what I would consider large for this pattern made out of the Bernat. And this is one that is made out of the Parfait Chunky. And purple, I have a, oops. so I have two this size, purple and yellow. And I've recently been told that pink and blue are the best sellers on the axolotls. And huh, here again, I used two different eye sizes, not even realizing it. I like the bigger better than the smaller. This one is a free pattern off of Instagram. The other axolotl pattern that I have, which is the one that I think I will be making more of, is a, pa a paid pattern that I got off of Instagram. But what, what I was saying is about the colors, I was told that pink and blue are the better sellers. And if you look up Minecraft axolotls, there's like five colors. But so I have a blue, it's not completely blue because I used purple, but I have a blue one. So I need to make more of those. I have one pig that looks kind of like a piggy bank. One leggy frog. I'm not a super fan of these, but if this is one that everybody says that the customers like, I'll make more. But I'm not a huge fan of the leggy frog. I have one Triceratops. This came from a pattern package off of Etsy, which has like five or six different dinosaurs in it. And this is using the Bernat, makes it come out um, quite a bit bigger. And because the ones that they, it's written for, it's, they're smaller and they're like stackables. But he is all no so, which makes it nice to do. And so I have one of these and I probably need a few more. I have one elephant. This is another uh, mom stitchetti pattern. Using the Bernat baby. And this is Parfait Chunky, the gray. I mixed the two, so. Be a rebel. Then from Teresa's Crochet Shop, this really cute possum, which was a challenging pattern, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. I just think that a darker gray would look much nicer. It would make the other colors just pop. So I may do another one of these using a darker gray. I don't know how, but we are almost to the end of this list. And I'm sure some of you guys remember my Birtle, my turtle that I tried to make look like a bee. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that somebody will love him and take him home with them. So I am going to take Birtle with me. And I have that are 100% complete five pickles. These, I'm putting these little tags on them. I have four others that do not have the tags, two of which are going to be backup because they're made with acrylic yarn. And I have these made out of two different ones. They just need their tags on them. Like I said, the acrylic ones, this one was the very first one. And it has, I 
did the bobble stitches because that's what everybody else was doing and I think it looks like a growth on it. So I changed it up so that they'd be a little, the bumps would be a little smaller. And that's just like in those spots, it's a triple crochet instead of a bobble, just one triple crochet. So I have those. Then I have potato, positive potato. This is the one that I think I'm gonna go with. I have two. I don't have any more of this color in the Bernat. I do have some more. I have saved this. I have tried not to use this color to do the potatoes with. And so I think I'm gonna go with this size. They will all have their cutesy little saying attached. And, but I will end up taking both of these with me. So I have one astronaut that has his little son to go with him. And I want to make a couple more of these, but using different colors than the white, like say make a pink one or a blue one or a purple one or whatever. So I wanna do a couple more of these. This one, um, I did when I was first learning to work with this plushy yarn. So it was quite challenging. I expect the next one that I do to be much, 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 much easier to deal with. So a couple more of these. And somehow I did not show these. I know they were on my list, but I must have skipped over it on the list. I have these, which this is the original, but instead of making it a mushroom top, I turned it into a flower. And this was the first attempt. I had to change up how I did my round. So, cause that looks square, that looks round. Meaning when you get to an even row, say you're supposed to have four single crochets and then an increase. I started off with two single crochets, did my increase and then did four, increase, four, increase. And the round ended with two. And you do that on the even rows and you will end up with more of a round looking surface than the square surface. So these two are done out of the same booty mushroom pattern. Then I have, I told you I was taking my little, my, when I get really low on the skein and turning them into little mini octos, I have nine of them. There is, or seven of them, seven, red, pink, two of them in this cream color, but they're different. This one has a different leg than this one. This one is much easier and quicker to do. This one is cute. I like how it has the little curly legs on it. Then there's blue and a gray and a green. So there are seven of those. And of course, I'm still working on water balloons. I have to um, get enough of an assortment of colors to put it in a package. I can't remember if I showed this or not, but I have my otter that I did and my panda bear that I need to fix his neck, somehow get it to squish down. Um, he looks pretty sad with his head being so far away from his shoulders. Like, yeah, it needs to go down. Anyhow, I think I showed you everything. Oh, no, I did not. Okay, so, all the keychains. <laughs> I have like pages and pages of this list here. Now I'm not gonna show you all 41 keychains. I'll just show you the, like, if I have five of them, I'll show you one so you'll know. So I did chickens, the little Maybell chickens, and I did them two ways. One with this type of um, hardware and one with the regular split ring. So two of those for a total of four, four chickens. And I have like seven gummy bears and I did them all to be like bag charms. 
I have one sunflower, one avocado, one donut, one space alien, two cats, a manatee, a stingray, two chili peppers, five whales, each one is a different color, one strawberry, one button mushroom, one penguin, one seagull, one dino, one mini octo, same pattern as the other mini octos, but using Bernat velvet, which makes it to be just that much smaller. And I have an eggplant that came out of my vegetable book and it just needs the hardware attached. So, oh, how did I skip these? The little gnome pattern that I showed you last week, I used acrylic yarn and made them into some keychains or bag charms, whichever you would prefer. So we got the gnomes. And I think, I think I have showed you everything. So I have two here that need parts attached. Actually, yeah, two that need the parts attached for the keychains. Um, I forgot to say, I think, that I had 11 dishcloths made. Um, yeah. So I've got this major mess in here. This is the second time I've recorded this. And hopefully my computer recognizes the video on the camera and we can go from there. So I need your help with what do I need to make more of? There are some that I know for sure that I would like to make, like the little pocket octaves. I would like to have probably a couple of dozen of those. The um, axolotls, I need a few. I have, oh, I don't know. What sells best for you out of all the different things I just showed you? And I know there's a lot. There are 41 keychains and 131 plushies there. So I need to stay away from new patterns. And I mean, I'm sure there are some that are in my Misfit toy box that I did not remake yet that are completely different from these. And, but I need to do multiples now. So let me know what you think I should be making for the multiples. All right, you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for sticking with me and we will see you over here in this next video.